Man, back with another freaking video. No, this is the same day as I did the last video. So the last video y'all seen me um, get the oil changed, uh, wood alignments. Um, what is music coming from? Um, what else did we do last year? I can't forget. Oh, little ashy, but we did the oil change alignment. Um, put the new seats in. So if you ain't watched the last video, it's gonna be up here. That's gonna be the thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? Watch that video. I guess after this one. But if you did watch the last video, you know what's in that box. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the grill. We're gonna put the grill in this video most likely. So we're gonna do grill, boom, um, new tires. So it's the spot out in St. Clair Shores. I'm gonna get these tires from. I believe it's St. Clair Shores. But yeah. We got like a 25 minute ride. So anyways, we got a little ride ahead of us. So I'm gonna kick this car in gear and we finna just take off. It's almost at running temperature. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, do we get a car wash? We gonna see how the outside of the car looks, man. But in last video, I had to get the freaking rim fixed. I ended up cracking a freaking rim again. The first time it was a passenger, this time it was the driver side, both in the front. So potholes are definitely crazy in Michigan, but we got that fixed too. I woke up this morning, the air is still in the tire. The tire still looks in good condition. So, it gotta be sealed up. But anyways, enough of this boring talking. Let's get the car in gear. Let's get it going. So, see y'all in a second. All right, y'all, so we here. That's the little spot, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, y'all see, I think, uh, yeah, I did show y'all me coming here last video, but they tried to wax me to get the, they told me 700 for them to um, fix the crack in my front room i looked at the lady face y'all and i tell y'all i looked at her like she was crazy i thought she like like trolling me or something so i'm like 700 to fix the cracks i'm thinking she talked about like for a whole new room i'm like 700 for a crack is crazy i'm like y'all could just put the car back on the ground <laughs> you know what i'm saying we don't gotta do nothing else and further than that you know what i'm saying but i just called them they got some tires for me already up here so i'm gonna go ahead Get these tires installed because they are literally on wires and I, they are snow tires and even though we got snow today we're finna be like in this in, in the summer so whoever gonna have this car gonna have some nice snow tires have some nice summer tires on the car so um yeah let me run in here real quick let them know i'm out here and then after that shit. oh my god look at the police oh i don't know if i got them police actually be out here so freaking much man but Anyways, and you know, these seats are like so comfortable, it's crazy. Sorry, y'all, so boom, we just got in here. Like getting the car jacked up and everything like that. Like I told y'all, grill is here. And then the guy just told me I have a, a tail light out. So these are the tires right here, the 275, 40, 20. They got some nice little tread for what I'm paying for them. So this is the first one. Then this is like the second one. So it's a nice. It's a nice little tray, you know what I'm saying? Not too bad, just to get it towards to where like I can get rid of the car and I can sell the car. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want me to get brand new tires like these? Four cars from the gone. That's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, look how dirty this room is from them changing the tire. Not even changing the tire from them fixing the crack. But yeah, so before the car is gone, I'm gonna get that fixed. Um, a couple other things. I see we can do a little tough truck paint with this. As y'all see, the weather has been making the car like very, very dirty. So we do have a tail light out. The guy just told me to look at this and look at that right there. So we gotta get the tail light fixed for sure. And then that's gonna be pretty much it, man. That is gonna be all she wrote. Check this out, y'all. These the blizzard. These are the snow tires that just came off. And I tell y'all, your boy was riding on wires. Imagine me getting on the freeway doing 80. Cause like look at the look at the whole camera like these tires are very very like through boom that's getting put on right now and then we got the other one then we just all set man this kind of look good open face if I would have had the little black chrome piece I kind of rock it open face you know what I'm saying that look kind of aggressive I'm not know hey maybe it's just me I don't know I think it is and then um we still gonna get that fixed I don't know I'm trying to get that fixed but that might be um sometime next week man but i'm sorry to get rid of this car if i get everything on my job situated before that time that's gonna have to stay like that it is, it is what it is i'm gonna sell it like that so 
Yeah, besides that, everything else is under here. Brand new sway bar links, control arms, everything under here is brand new shocks, spring, everything, man. So, your boy is getting the car all there together. I cannot get y'all in the car. It's just terribly bad and unsafe y'all to drive. And that's only if one of y'all buy this car. So, my Instagram is going to be on the screen. If y'all want to buy this car, when I put it up for sale, feel free to contact me, all serious people. And everything like that y'all come get this car man because somebody got to get it i'd rather have one of y'all get it so i can reach back out to y'all do another video with y'all to see how y'all like the car so all the stickers will be removed very very soon and then besides that it got some little damages but nothing too crazy but yeah that's just gonna be pretty much it y'all the next day And uh, right now, y'all see me in the car. Um, I'm not sure if I even open this video. So if y'all seeing this, I probably didn't open the video already. Let's put this window up. But yeah, we got the car lined and everything like that. And last video in the car, driving pretty much straight. Brand new seats, car just got an oil change and everything like that. And man, if y'all got me on Instagram, if you don't, go, go down there right there, boom. Link inside the description. Go follow me on Instagram. eBay shot is right there on the screen for y'all. Y'all seen my story. I got brand new tires for the rear. And then also I have a tail light out. So this company sponsored me for a new tail light. Um, just a little bulbs. I'm taking pretty much any sponsor just to wrap the car up. So if y'all want to sponsor me something, I'm going to leave my email on the screen. Send what y'all want to send. DM me. Anything like that. Any social media is good for me to talk. You know what I'm saying? Conversate business. You know what I'm saying? Only serious business. God damn it. He had him high. But, y'all, um, so today the chrome delete is kind of like, ah, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to fix up the chrome delete because the car is getting sold. We're going to fix the chrome delete up and then we're going to try to fix the front bumper. I'm going to show y'all what's going on with that. But this video is a sponsorship video. So I'm going to leave everything, um, or they contact their website everything like that is going to be inside the description i forgot the the, the damn the company name but i'm gonna get I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that rolling just give me a second give me a second we're about three minutes from pulling up to pack punch performance y'all i'm just off work so you know what i'm saying i'm a, I'm a little lazy up in, in the membrane but um shit, i gotta get over man i gotta get over no turn signal the, my turn signal hand is is on the camera do not vlog and drive please y'all but um sorry if i'm just doing the same thing for these last few videos because i just been doing mod after mod going to pack punch performance on the screen but i um i got to wrap the car up we have a deadline of two three weeks and the car has to be done i'm trying to do everything i can these little weeks so it might be mod after mod after mod man we're gonna get out to some car meets next car definitely i'm just tired of popping out in this car and had this car for so long everybody seeing it i know they tired of seeing it so i'm not if you see this car you got to see me out all i'm going to car meet you know what i'm saying video class is done with this car this car is done the car is over but we're gonna be pulling up and look at this what kind of it's a chally with a a viper hood i mean not a viper hood a demon hood we're gonna wait till light turn green to see it but look at it the scat uh, it's a scat it's a scat but y'all i'm gonna let y'all know we're about 10 minutes away focus now we're about 10 minutes away i'm gonna talk to y'all when we get there without further ado y'all stay tuned don't go nowhere leave a like if you already enjoying it you know what i'm saying but then um until then until we pull up to the packet point performance shop i'm gonna be driving so see y'all in a second all right, boom, y'all, check this out, man. Check this out. Check this out now. Y'all see, the grill is definitely missing from the car. Just because, like, long story. If you've been watching old videos, it is what it is. I didn't hit nothing. Somebody bagged into me. But those right there are my old seats. Now, if y'all haven't watched the last video, I have, like, 2012 Christ 300 seats. You know what I'm saying? Put it in everything like that is good. Power to seats, they all work. Move back up for left, right. You know what I'm saying? They work. So if you need anything like that powered up, like if you want to put new seats in an older car like this, hit up my boy Pack Push Performance. He's going to get you right. So today we're going to try to get this grill put in and see if we can do anything about this. So when they hit the car, 
for the grill that kind of messed this up too so i don't know if he could plastic weld that or everything like that and then um i don't know i got the grill right there muddy car i gotta go through one every day like going in and out of work but yeah man this thing is kind of filthy man i swear to god like i try to keep it as clean as much as i can but it just get dirty. So this is going to be the last video that I mentioned, the seats. If y'all want the seats, hit me on Instagram. If you don't got Instagram, um, I don't know what to tell you. I guess I'm going to put my email down here. It's not really that serious about my email down here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if y'all don't get it, I was going to curb them, but I'd rather sell it with the car. So if you get the car, you get the seats. You know what I'm saying? That's like a giveaway, ain't it, Lottie? We give a seat away. <laughs> you spend a search of money, so you spend such X amount of dollars on buying a car, you get free seats. That's that's a two for one, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so y'all want free seats? <laughs> don't let don't let me don't ever tell y'all. Don't ever tell me I never gave y'all nothing for free. I'm doing a giveaway. Loudy. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, no, no. what I think he was right there. We doing a giveaway, man. Holy shit. Giving away health insurance. Oh my god. <laughs> so I just looked at the bumper and the bumper coming along pretty good. So while he doing that, it's gonna be almost time to get the bumper put on. So while he about to get ready to finish that, I'm gonna come right here, unbox the new grill. It's definitely not nothing special. It's basically the same grill. Damn, it's tape. I need my keys. Hold on, guy. Hold on. <laughs> Here it is. Hold on. I'm about to set y'all down real quick. Hold on. So, can y'all see me? Boom. So, just the normal black gloss grill. I hopefully it's the same grill that I had before. Because if not, I'm going to be a little doomed. Because I went to the same, like, order for the other one, and the guy was sold out, so I had to go through somebody else. So I'm just praying it's the same black grill. Definitely scratching the car up. Yeah. So, y'all... Oh, I think this one is matte. This one is matte black. The other one I had, I think it was a gloss. But either way, it's still, still all right. That's still a good. Yeah, the other one's definitely gloss, though. But, boom. So, um, I know y'all probably like eBay. You're doing videos on a car that looks like terrible cosmetic. This car could be good, bad, whatever. I'm going to make a video. It's nothing for me to hide. If something happened to the car, I gotta show y'all. This is how content works. So, yeah, you know, I gotta show y'all the good flaws and the bad flaws. So, so boom, everything is plastic welded, and um, we got the new grill set inside the hose. And um, now all we gotta do is screw the grill back into the bumper. The grill is gonna be set, and then that's gonna be it for the grill. And then um, I have to put the tail light bulbs in. I don't know. I think I'm probably just gonna do that because it's very simple. But let's put this patch in there. Okay, so you just locked. But, but why did the car just lock itself, bro? Chill out, folks. Ugh. Dead body. Alright y'all, check this out. Now I told y'all we got a sponsorship for this video. Now boom. I got the lights on. Y'all see we got the tail lights, boom. But on this side right here, the tail light is definitely out. So um this company reached out to me just in time. Like I was literally on the way to AutoZone. I checked my ideas before. I don't know how to say this name it was A-U-X-I-T-O Exoto or something like that. LED light. They see me some LED lights for the rear. So we're gonna go put these on real quick. And to see the comparison, these tail lights are tinted, so I don't know how bright they are gonna be to like the factory ones, but 
We're going to give them a try. So, I'll leave everything they have inside the description. Like, the contact for the email, website, and everything like that. I do have affiliates. So, I'm going to give y'all affiliate link. If y'all see anything on there y'all want to get, hit the link, you know. Say y'all some money and give me a little bit of commission too. So, you know, it works out for everybody. Ain't that right, Lottie? Yeah. So, this is a look at it right here. I still don't know how to say this company name, but shout out to you. Me and Lottie got the um, Telline Assembly loose. And now, the top one is not working. So, we're going to place the top one on both sides. Then, yeah, we're going to see how this looks. So, I got to put the camera down. I'm actually doing this myself. You know, once in a lifetime. I'm actually not using that guy over there, you know. Ash Candy, eBay is definitely in the building today. But, without further ado, I don't know what I'm doing. We're going to just pray for God. You know what I'm saying? We're going to figure it out. Got the headlight. Oh, Lottie, you know why it don't work anymore? It's like broke. It's cracked. See, y'all see? The, the tail light got shattered. See it? Oh, shit. That bitch blue. Ah. <laughs> So, oh shit, <laughs> oh, oh shit, so I'm going to tune in with y'all real quick, I just had to show y'all it was cracked. So just like that, we're about to pull out the pack punch performance house. Now we got the tail lights all hooked up, let's just go back here and see how much brighter. But they are, yeah, they definitely brighter, bro. You know how much brighter they are? Because if you look at the top lights, and look at the bottom lights, it's like a night and day loudy. Like, look at the tops. Look at the bottoms, bro. Yeah. They're like night and day. So we should definitely reach back out to them. Like, give me the bottom. Right. Put yourself with the bottom. Get it, get it, give me the bottom. Yeah. Give me the, the bottoms. Good. It works. Yeah, so. I'm going to leave all that info inside the description. It's probably going to be the... We're going to put him in the first link. Let me get the back of it. You know, Pack Punch Performance, first link. I'll be forgetting to put your link inside the description. I know you probably be seeing it, but I always put it on the screen. So... First link is going to be my boy Lottie, Pack Punch Performance. Second link is going to be the affiliate. So, um, yeah, thank y'all so much for the sponsorship. But we're going to get up out of here because we got to go, bro. I got to go home to get supper, bro. All right, thank you so much, bro. One week later. Well, y'all, another day, another dollar. Now, y'all probably wondering what we doing at the back of the car. Check this out. Yes, man, this is getting out of hand. The car is so low to the ground. Everywhere I pull in and pull out. Wait, hold on, guys. Everywhere I pull in and I pull out, I scrape every single time. I went to get gas the other day, and I scraped coming up the incline. So, man, it's, it's, it's getting crazy. So, the exhaust is running. It's, it's shaky. It's not sounding too good. So, I believe we broke a exhaust hanger. We're going to get that looked into today. We're on the way. We have about a 35-minute drive out there. Then, yeah, stay to the end of this video. If y'all rocking me, stay to the very end because y'all are going to get a secret to what's going on. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say. If you will not wait to the end, when I say the end, the very, very, very end until the video cuts off completely. So we have 25 minutes till we get to our destination to the exhaust shop. And then I'm going to show y'all a little bit more of the exhaust problem that we are having. One of my exhaust tailpipes are not sitting correctly under the bumper. We have to get that fixed. And yeah, so we got a 25 minute drive. We're going to see y'all when we get there. We're doing repair after repair after repair. We recorded the other day, but I forgot what we did. We went to Loudies though, but oh, we put the grill in. A new tail light bulb. So yeah, we're we repairing everything. Getting ready to get the car to the new owner. So I'll see y'all in a second. We got a haircut like a day or two ago. I don't know how the hell. I don't know how good y'all can tell. My hair grow back so fast every time. But anyway, and every time I hit little bumps, I hear the exhaust just like jumping up and down. So yeah, we're gonna turn some music on. I don't want to keep hearing like hearing this. I've been riding with this car for like a week straight like this because I've been grinding, 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 working. You know what I'm saying? I really ain't had no time for myself. I have had off day. In 11 days, man, and working 10 hour shifts a day, grinding. I'm grinding for a reason. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay subscribed. Y'all like, comment, subscribe already. Y'all know I ain't busting my ass for nothing. I pray to God, you know what I'm saying? We're doing this for the best reasons in life. But I'm going to see y'all when we get there. 
don't turn off this video yet. Man, we going straight through the intro. Usually I stutter and take a little cut, but you know what I'm saying? Your boy feel good, you know what I'm saying? We went straight through this time. Anyways, see y'all in a second. Hey, that shit up, TNT. Boom, y'all, check this out. We just pulled up, and there ain't even many cars here. So, you know what that means? It looks pretty empty in there, so we might be in and out. That's why I like getting stuff done during the work days and not the weekends. You know what I'm saying? That's tip 101. I got that from Andrew Tate. You know what I'm saying? Big homie is out. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, my. <laughs> I got to go. I almost leaked. So I almost leaked some crazy info, man. We're about to go in here and see what they say. I got a number in my head of how much it should be a runabout. But, yeah, these people did my exhaust when I first got the car. Then I had somebody else do it. But, yeah, we up here. We going to see what's going on and see what they tell me. Because this exhaust, it's, it's, it's got to get fixed, man. It's, it was just raining, so car is going to be dirty. But y'all see how this one is, like, more centered? This one is like way off. So we're gonna have them fix that. And I got something under there, like a loose um, bolt for the exhaust. Cause it's like, I, when the car idling, I could just hear the exhaust like rattle. So we gotta get this fixed y'all. So we're gonna see what they say. I'm gonna let y'all know as soon as we come out. I'm about to go in there real quick. This flange right here is loose. Yeah, moving? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try to tighten it up. If it's not gonna work, we gotta change the studs. Okay. Okay, that's first. Then here, I can do this pipe for you from here to here with a, for a 120. Okay. Okay, Wait. put this tip back in its place. Okay, it, I, I think this tip, yeah, this, could you fix this one? This one off like a tad, like. It's just off a little uh, bit. I can try my best for this one. Because I'm not going to change the pipe on this one. I'm going to change the pipe on this. I'm going to change it from here all the way to here. But you say you're going to try to see if you can fix this one. Yeah, I'll try to fix this one. All right. Um, all right. So how much do you think we'll be looking at? Uh, if in the front, I'm going to heat it up only and tighten the bolts to $60 in the front. Plus 120 here. So 180 altogether. But if I have to change the studs in the front, it's 120 plus 120, so 240 altogether. So it's either 180 or 240. Okay, but so when you doing that, it's gonna stop like the shaky shit, right? Though, like if it like bouncing around, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So let's just let's just get this figured out, then we can do that. Gotcha. But yeah, uh, y'all did y'all did exhaust on here before, so y'all put these tips on. Why end up backing into like a fucking cement wall or some shit? And, like that's how it's like bent. So if we can get that perfectly under there too, it'd be perfect, bro. Okay. okay. This one, as I told you, the words, I didn't change the studs. See, I heat hey, them up. I heat. When I let the car warm up and it's rattling, I come back here and shit, and I hear like little like shaky. No, you should so, be good. Okay. Here, I didn't charge you for that. Okay. If there was a broken angle, I put another one for you. Thank okay. you, I appreciate it, bro. This here. So I tried to put it in the middle as much as I can. Okay, perfect. Okay. Later that same evening. All right, y'all, check this out. Your boy had to pit on a big winter coat because it is crazy cold outside. Uh, Yeah, so y'all see we got the exhaust fixed earlier. The exhaust is good. It's not making no noise or anything like that. So we pretty good on that. It's honestly starting to rain. So hopefully I can hurry this video up. Hopefully the video ain't too short. But we are going to go and get the last car wash and the last, um, I guess I said it's going to be the last car wash most likely for the car. Just because, you know what I'm saying? If you watch the beginning of the video all the way through, you'll know what's going on. So, this is pretty much going to be the last car wash for the car. I'm going to go over all the mods that's done to it. Just in case, um, anybody from my YouTube channel want to buy the car, this is going to be up for sale. So, uh, by the time y'all get this video and this y'all get the notification, if you know the game, the car is up for sale. So if you go on Marketplace, you're going to be able to find it on there and everything like that. I know y'all tired of this seatbelt noise. I got a bad habit of not wearing my seatbelt, but we want to turn the camera back off and uh, get the going. So we're going to do one more trip around the car to show y'all the mods. It is wet. It's kind of rainy. So I'm out here grinding for content. So I need y'all to leave a like. 
you know what I'm saying? It's because your boy out here working is very, very cold. So, yeah, ain't nothing else to it. We see all we're gonna break the models down, everything that's done to this car one more time, and that is it. So, this is gonna be official selling the car video, you know what I'm saying? So, ain't nothing else further to talk about. I'll see y'all when we get there and everything like that. Man, honestly, who would think this will be one of the last times we get to take the car to grab some gas on video, man? This is this is so surreal, man. Like, this June 8th would be three years in the making of having this car. Who wouldn't know that this will be the last, one of the last times having this car to get gas in it, man. So we're going to fill the car on up because y'all can see Shad. <laughs> she definitely need gas, man. And damn, $4.30 ain't too bad. But man, this has been a hell of a experience. You know, experiencing just being a full-on YouTuber with y'all. So, I'm so ready to see what we got coming and the bigger blessings. You know, in life, you always have to elevate. With everything you got going on, you have to elevate. You have to look past the bad to get to the good. So, when something goes not your way in life, you just got to tear it up, tin up, run full-fledged at it. Do not run from it. Run at it. You know what I'm saying? I said edit it, but you know, you know what I'm saying, you run edit. And uh um man, this has been a journey, man. And this closing is coming to an end very, very faster than I thought it was, man. This has been the best car I've owned. So yeah, we, I ain't gonna keep on, you know what I'm saying, with all this sentimental, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get out the car, we're gonna fill the car up with gas and Get the last car wash and go over the mods and everything like that. It's gonna be a mod list put out um, on Marketplace uh, when you see it, just in case if I don't say everything. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie, this new Herbo tank kind of nice though, man. I ain't gonna say all nice, but it got some little bangers in there. Anyways, let's get out there. Y'all see it's raining. So I'm out here grinding for y'all in the rain just because I love y'all, you know what I'm saying? Man, who would have knew? Damn, you need a detail in there. Fuck. But who would have knew? Only put the best in the car. Okay. And just like that, y'all, that was all she wrote. A little 40 boy. You know what I'm saying? Your boy ain't rich at all, but come on now. Like, don't embarrass me. We're gonna go in here. We'll get the car detailed though. I'm about to pop the trunk. No, I'm tripping. Look how nice she looks. With the lights, man. Jeez. Now, I was supposed to get that um, dent fixed, but it's like I'm running out of time. So, that dent might just be there when the car sell. I ain't gonna lie. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna still be here. But, man, look. It looks so nice. I love the new headlights with the anchor eyelids with the SRT8 uh, fog lights. She dirty, but she still cleans up pretty good. So, in the beginning of the video, we got the new tail light bulbs fixed and put in by ex, ex Nito, something like that. Big shout out to y'all once again, I didn't forget. Exhaust is up under there, very nice and perfect. It actually makes the um, diffuser look better. And man, so we got a couple little flaws, like right here, um, right here. But besides that, there's a little bit of chrome to be fixing for that. That's not nothing at all. But besides that, the car is in pretty much good shape. If you have been a subscriber of my channel, you know everything this car has pretty much been through. I have vlogged my whole way through this three-year process. So y'all know what's up. Y'all know this is a good old car. But look how dirty those rims are. Unacceptable. Let's get the car washed. You know what I'm saying? Cleaned up. Look at this Michigan rain, man. April showers. Let's give it a start. Sound good, you know what I'm saying? Big catless. Sheesh. Let's get a pop chair. Not too bad, half a tank. Oh, the car definitely needs wiper blades. Let me show y'all this. Like, it's like, oh no, 
bro, earlier it looked like it was all right though, but it looked like they was kind of doing bad too. But yeah, y'all. So we'll see y'all in a second. Hopefully, I don't get hit by one of these fast cars or emerging in traffic. I don't even know. Why would I say that? Be for real. Man, y'all, this is literally crazy. Scan that code. This is crazy, y'all. Like me thinking. I was never gonna get out this car. So the first car I ever had, I thought I was never gonna get out that car. I look big as hell this big ass winter coat on, but I thought I was gonna never get out that car. Like, I don't know why. I just thought I was gonna be like trapped in that car for life for some reason. Like, I don't know. And then like, I got, I kind of got to a point in my life where I thought I was gonna be trapped in this car. And now it's like, I'm seeing the ending of it like i'm seeing everything unfold i kind of thought i was gonna be with this car forever y'all and, and 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 happily i'm very much appreciative of everybody i have brought along on me so i am actually grateful of everybody that has came along with me this has been a crazy journey for me to say the least all the times we have broke the car doing burnouts i broke the trans broke the differential broke so many drive shaft pieces like man boy, your boy is definitely grateful and if you here to watch this video before we blow up with the new car man comment comment a random emoji you know what i'm saying comment the most random emo emoji so i just know that y'all was here before the new car there's gonna be a lot of people coming here with this new car they gonna like this car we're gonna turn this car the way up and everything like that but man, this is gonna be one of the final car washes. Like, it's just it's just crazy to see how far we became as a unit, man. We are like at 4.7 thousand subscribers, man. And it's so freaking surreal. But anyways, enough of all that. Anyway, that's still inquiring. We got 92.4 thousand miles. The car has a 180 degree thermostat. That's why it's only at 176 degrees. Very clean inside, new seats. I, I, I go to work a lot, so that's why I got all this work stuff right here. But yeah, this, this, this car wash going to work right now. Y'all see that? We're gonna, we gonna hop out and let the G Herbo play for y'all. Wall of fun, it's cool though, but look, man. Look at her all clean up. Sheesh, man, we're gonna put some tire shine to get the tires popping real good for y'all. Exhaust is fixed. Y'all don't hear no rattling. Nothing like that. Nice, good idle. All, all cylinders running. Very, very good. Y'all hear that? Yes, sir. Now, that's the big power of the modded V8. You know what I'm saying? Jeez, this car has definitely been a blast. So, let me go get my wallet. Because I just don't even feel comfortable keep recording without my wallet. You know, I've been left for here. But... First thing first we're going to go over is the rear diffuser. Now, the back of the car was so stock looking. I was trying to find the rear diffuser online for so freaking long. They only had universal ones. And I just couldn't picture myself how it was going to look on there. But this company sent me some and they were like custom made for the car. Car 101, no, nobody else had those. Those are especially made for me. That's what he said. So, got the pipes on there. The rear diffuser looking nice srt spoiler um srt wigger build chrome deletes tinted tail lights um window spoiler that came from my boy srt mont because he got rid of his 300 but he gave me that before um like i said we got this little issue right here about a two finger gap because the car has coilovers and then, um, I don't even know if y'all can see that. You got that little white mark right there. And besides that, that's it, man, honestly. Oh, and this too. So, new headlights, angry eyelids, brand new grill that y'all seen, let's put on in the beginning of the video. SRT8 fog lights, um, black mirror caps, black gas handle, Color changing starlights with um, the mobile app so y'all can change it from your phone. I still have the old seat in here. Door's locked. I can't even get it out. But yeah, man, it's going to be pretty much the whole build. 
That's actually pop the pop the hood. Now y'all gonna fry me for the hood, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all just see me get a detail. So don't even say my car is dirty. I just be in muddy places. So let me show y'all what's really going on. Now do oh uh sheesh. Big 5.7, big V8. Now that piece right there y'all see is an 85 millimeter BBK thought about it. That cost me like 500 alone, you know what I'm saying? So the car is definitely worth its value. The engine bay ain't the best looking. It's definitely an old car, it definitely has to be clean. Now y'all know I used to race this car, not like for content, that's for like, I was BSing with the guys. So this car has a custom 93 tune. It's tuned for the air intake, throttle body, the catalyst, and uh, the thermostat. So that's why the car runs so smooth. I see a lot of y'all cars running at like 206, 210. That's cool, but the cooler your car runs, just the better and the longer I feel like it lasts. Especially if you're doing stuff that's crazy, like doing pulls. Why would you want a car running hotter if you're doing a pull? Have a car running as low as it can. It's gonna be best performance. It might not make you faster, but trust me, your motor would rather be cooler than hotter. But yeah, it's gonna be the final walk around, man. That V8 sounds so good. Y'all hear that? Sheesh, man, this is, this is so surreal. I remember when we first got the car, the car was so old. And Grandpa, look, I'm gonna try to find a picture to put up on the screen, but y'all see those old wheels? It's crazy, man. Like, we definitely came a so long of a way, and it's just time. It's gonna be the video of us selling the car. Like, I don't even know what I would do without you guys. Now, honestly, I have never been good at a lot of stuff in life, but I feel like I found my passion. I feel like I'm very good with this. Love y'all so much. I thank y'all so much for even tapping in, tuning in, leaving a comment. If you show me any support in any single way, I love you for that, you know what I'm saying? We are definitely gonna get stronger and stronger day by day, video by video. It's just crazy, because honestly, if I didn't have this car doing YouTube with it, I don't know what I would be doing in my life. I might not even be living right now. Just, just You just don't never know. Like, this has kept me out of so much trouble. Even though I got into a lot of like legal trouble, like speeding tickets and stuff like that, but that's worth it being in a box, you know what I'm saying? Or in the actual jail cell for like real deal crime, you know? So I just thank God for having a better plan for me in life. And uh, it's just crazy, man. Like, I don't know, man. I kind of want to take the car wash again, just to, I don't know, just to do it again. But this shit just feels so crazy. And I hope I'm not rambling. I'm just telling y'all how I feel, cause Man, it's been a long ass journey, bro. Like honestly, through the good, through the bad. Just think about the times I didn't upload for two or three months as I was going through my own mental issues. Mental health is very, very important. And I would get so many DMs from y'all, just to eBay, drop a video, do this and do that. And I'll just be like stuck like, man, like, it's kind of hard to, to subscribe, but I would just be stuck in my mode. Like, is this shit really for me? Am I really supposed to be doing this right now? Because every person has a destiny for them. You got to find that. And I'm like, am I pursuing something that's never going to work? And it, it, it kind of get me in the crazy mental state. Because I take my future very, very serious. And I find myself up at night, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, just wondering what I'm going to do with my life. You know? So, it, it kind of gets like surreal. Like, honestly, like... I don't want to seem like I'm really rambling. I'm just trying to kick game with y'all because I've been at my darkest moments and just felt like giving up on a lot of stuff, man. And I, it's like I kind of finally found my passion to keep on going. So chase y'all dreams, man. Do not let nobody tell y'all something y'all can't do. This is not none of them cliche ass statements. Do what you want to do. Anything you want to do in life, you do it. I have been stopped by so many people saying they want to do something in life and they just don't know how to start it or they scared to start it. Just do it. Find you some research, build you an empire, build you something to stand on, 
and just go after it, man. You don't need nobody to do this but yourself. You know what I'm saying? Over the last few months, I have showed y'all that. Before I even had my own V8, my own car to do my YouTube with, it's like I was following people around making videos off the content they making. If they doing this, showing that, I would be showing that in my, for my videos. So it's almost like I was still in content. So it's like I got to a point like I can't keep doing this. I can't keep making videos after somebody else is making them. And it's going to be the same video, two different angles, two different POVs. So I actually had to get out there and get it on my own, man. Get my own car. Show y'all my own journey. Show y'all what I'm capable of. And I know y'all see that, man. So, without further ado, I'm gonna let y'all hear the V8 idle one more time. Gosh, that sounds so good. Sheesh. But y'all, without further ado, I swear to God, I love y'all so freaking much, bro. It's just crazy. Y'all keep me going. Y'all keep me pushing. I keep me wanting to do everything I want to do in life. Without y'all, I don't know what I would want to. And without y'all, I really don't know what I would be doing. Like, honestly, y'all keep me so motivated. Every day I get a DM from a new subscriber or somebody that just want to ask me questions. You know what I'm saying? So, I love y'all so freaking much. My name is eBay Shot. And we out here. We're going to wrap up the freaking video. Man. This is crazy, bro. This is gonna go down in just my own book. Like I finally did something right in life. So with that being said, my name's eBay Shot It. Look at the car. It looks so good from the back. My name's eBay Shot It. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace and love. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. I love y'all so much. I ain't in the now I told some of y'all to stay tuned to the very, very end. A lot of y'all poorly clicked off. I told y'all don't click off. But if you stay, and you, you were one of them real ones that stay, stay to the very, very end. And even if I told you, don't go nowhere. We are going to be applying for the loan this Friday. This video is going to be posted on Tuesday the 2nd. The loan is getting applied for this Friday. So. Y'all gonna be the first ones to know what happens with the new journey, man. And if we do not get approved for the loan, I hate to speak that in terms, but I got another big old plan we're gonna do for the car. But, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna believe it, you know what I said, believe it, the man above, and he's gonna take care of everything like that. But the loan will be applied for this Friday. So, by the time this car by the time this video is up on YouTube, this car would be for sale. So y'all gonna get a first shot at it. You know what I'm saying? All people that serious, I won't say no price on video. If you wanna know the price for this car, go on Facebook Marketplace, type the car in, and you are gonna see it. So this time, we are honestly out of here. Love y'all so much. Peace and love. We out of here. I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us, man, down, he took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live. I got the news from my sister, gave me chills. Gang off, y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill. He popped his hands and I dog itching to do a drill.